What is going on everybody? It is your boy Hobo back again and ladies and gentlemen it all comes down to this in the NFL. We have finally reached it. Super Bowl 54. It is here. It is upon us. The National Football Conference champion San Francisco 49ers will meet the American Football Conference champion Kansas City Chiefs in Miami for Super Bowl 54. And this should be a great game. It should be a great game between two nice offenses, a couple good defenses, one being a really great defense, and two coaches who really have seemed to take their two respective programs to great heights this year. And in the case of Andy Reid, obviously he's been in this game before. He's led his team to big moments before. And obviously the Chiefs' main hump over the years has been getting to this game. Now here they are. No Patriots in their way. They just have to beat the 49ers. And with the 49ers, you've got Kyle Shanahan in his third year as San Francisco 49ers head coach. And he has led them all the way to the Super Bowl. Last year, I believe they had three wins. And they come out this year swinging. The defense is firing on all cylinders. Jimmy Garoppolo looks great. Not to mention George Kittle's been on fire. They made that great trade for Emmanuel Sanders earlier in the year. And they've added some nice weapons outside for Jimmy to use. They're a great looking football team. They were able to shut down the Packers and the Vikings in back to back weeks in the postseason. And then on the other side, of course, we have Kansas City, who they're going to have to avoid what they did over the past two weeks of their playoff when they started off against Houston down 24 to nothing and then had to make a great comeback. They can't uh, allow themselves to do that in this game in the Super Bowl. And, and then in the next week, of course, they were down, I think, 17 to, to nothing against um, against Tennessee. And then they came all the way back in that game and won. And against a team like the 49ers, who's built on running the football strongly with three good backs, you cannot allow them to build a lead. And especially against a guy who knows a thing or two about blowing big leads in this game, Kyle Shanahan, you just you cannot afford yourself to be down by more than 10 at any given point in this football game. And that's going to be really the key for, for Kansas City. They're going to need, in a big way, to stay ahead of themselves, to stay ahead of San Francisco, to get good yardage on early downs, to score often, to score very frequently. And that we've seen the proficiency of their offense this season, and especially in the postseason. They've done quite well for themselves in terms of getting the ball into the end zone. And San Francisco, that big defense is going to have to come up even bigger. And, of course, Nick Bosa probably going to win Rookie of the Year, probably going to win Defensive Rookie of the Year. Um, he could even win Defensive Player of the Year. He's played that good this year, and I just don't see a way that uh, Kansas City is going to be able to stop him up front. It's it's such a tough matchup because they can they can overload your line, and then you really, you know, you put yourself in a bad spot because I don't think there's a single – offensive line in football right now that can block the San Francisco front and that's going to be really to me San Francisco's key to winning the game is if they can get consistent pressure on Patrick Mahomes hit him take him to the ground you know force Mahomes to kind of have to stand in the pocket and beat you and and I know I mean we say that about mobile guys and Mahomes can actually do that but when you look at it, outside of Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey, who is he throwing the football to? And it's just going to come down to can that defensive backfield for San Francisco come up big? I don't know if they can. I mean, Sherman, outside of Sherman, they've got really nobody. I think Emmanuel Mosley's played pretty well. Akilah Witherspoon's been benched a few times. So they've, they've got some... They've got some uh, questionable marks in the area that Patrick Mahomes likes to go with the football. So if Richard Sherman stays on one side of the field, he probably won't see Tyreek Hill all too often. Because we all know Andy Reid's a good game manager, a game planner. He will get Tyreek Hill away from Richard Sherman. And I think even if they were on each other, it's a bad matchup because Sherman's too slow to keep up with Tyreek Hill. Either way... I think both these head coaches obviously have prepared their teams well. 
They wouldn't be here if they weren't prepared well. And it's going to come down to which offense really can can put the ball in the end zone more consistently. I don't care if you put the ball in the end zone four times over the course of the four quarters. If you can put the ball in the end zone, let's say in one quarter, like the Chiefs did against uh, Houston, you put the ball in the end zone four times, and you can kind of string that together. In every drive, you come away with some kind of points. Long drives, finish them with field goals. Long drives, finish them with touchdowns. You're going to need to keep these defenses, or if you're Kansas City, you're going to need to keep the San Francisco defense on the sideline. And if you're San Francisco, you got to keep the Kansas City offense on the sideline. So both these teams are going to want to have long drives. You know, for Kansas City, your long drives have to wear down the Niners' defense. So that way by halftime, they can't have their great resurgence in energy and they can't come out and beat you up. And Kansas City, I just don't think their defense is as good as people have been claiming it is. I mean, in the playoffs, they beat two AFC South teams, and one of which wasn't even the winner of the division. So I don't know what that tells you. They never ran into any challenge in the playoffs. And sure, you can say, you know, playoff teams are in the playoffs for a reason. But it is what it is. You know, I just I don't think that uh, Kansas City has played as tough of, of a challenge in the playoffs as San Francisco has. That being said, they probably ran into one of the worst 13-3 and football teams there ever was in Green Bay. And they beat a very overrated Minnesota Vikings team. But I still think they face different competition because the defenses for both of those teams are a lot better, I think, in totality than the two teams Kansas City has run into. But in this matchup, I mean, it's so interesting. They're so evenly matched. Like, sure, you would give the quarterback to Kansas City. You'd give the running back to San Francisco. The tight ends are dead even. Defense, you got to give it to San Francisco. Pass catchers, you got to give it to Kansas City. You know, both lines have played pretty damn well. It's such a tough matchup. It really is. And it's going to come down to, to some guys that aren't normally, you know, the guys you look at when you game plan. It's going to come down to those guys to make these to make these big time plays might come down you know I don't know second string tight ends third string running backs guys who just check in and you kinda don't worry so much about because you know they're in they're not in the forefront of your mind it's gonna come down to guys like that and it's gonna be a really hard fought game it's gonna be a really tough game and I absolutely see this thing being close being close at least for the first three quarters and like you're seeing in my simulation that I'm playing as Kansas City, I'm finding myself in a hole. So that's what the Chiefs can't do. You know, because San Francisco, they have the proficiency to push the ball and score. And they have the proficiency to stop you on every single play. So that's why, you know, I have to give the slight edge to San Francisco. I just haven't seen them play as many bad games where both sides of the football just looked inept. You know, Kansas City has five losses. And in those five losses... They've lost to some not great teams. Like they did, I think people forget about this, they did lose to Tennessee. And sure, that was in the regular season. First game, Mahomes came back after the injury. But nonetheless, they still lost in that game. And I can't name off the top of my head the rest of the teams they lost to, but I know they lost to Houston, but then they beat them in the playoffs. So, And, and those marks might say, hey, they lost to two teams in the regular season that they eventually beat in the postseason. That's improvement. But it also means you just recognized your faults from the previous game and addressed them. In plays like that that you just saw, the Niners are going to have to be very, very careful about because you cannot let a guy like Tyreek Hill get over the top on you or else you're going to give up seven in a hurry. And um, it's just it's a great matchup. It's a great matchup, two great teams. Uh, two first-time teams in the Super Bowl for a while. You know, Kansas City obviously hasn't been there since 1962, I want to say. And San Francisco hasn't been in the big game since 2012. So, we haven't seen these teams here in a while. It's going to be a good one. Both teams are playing their hearts out. Uh, San Francisco's looking for uh, trophy number six. Kansas City's looking for trophy number two. You know, there's not so much really more I have to say other than this game's going to be great. It's got two great teams. I wouldn't mind seeing either of them win, but I also would kind of be upset to see both teams lose. You know, I mean, it's just one of those games that 
you like the guys on the field and you want to see them do well and obviously only one only one team can win and my official Super Bowl 54 prediction is the San Francisco 49ers are going to win Super Bowl 54 and with that being said ladies and gentlemen I hope you all enjoy the Super Bowl this Sunday and I, I don't really know what else to say just hit that like button hit that subscribe button it's the number one way to help out the channel guys enjoy the Super Bowl whether you're rooting for Kansas City or San Francisco just play just pray for a good game and I hope we're gonna get that on Sunday so uh, enjoy it enjoy your friends enjoy your family enjoy some football and I will catch you guys next season <laughs>